I'm Ed Del Grande, and for years you've been hearing me speak about cola generators. Well, today we're installing one at my own home. Now, we live here in the Northeast where we get our fair share of storms and power outages, and sometimes the electricity could be out for days, even weeks at a time. Now, recently, my wife and I finally finished the last addition to our home, so we're very excited because now's the time we get to install our cola generator. Now I have to point out one thing, this is not a do-it-yourself project. I'm in the business and I have plenty of help on this job. And also, the preparation work can be involved, but once the prep work is completed, the final hookups only take about a day to a day and a half. Now I'm right over here with Jay, and Jay, we have three steps left with the final completions. We have the gas line that has to be installed, the electrical, and of course we start and test it. Now you're at the transfer switch, which is part of the prep work. So once the transfer switch is in, which could be the basement or outside like we have here, what's the next step? Well, what I'm doing right now is I'm actually pushing in the wires that'll lead from the transfer switch to the generator. What happens is in case of a power outage, transfer switch will signal to the generator to start up, start up, send the electricity back to the transfer switch, and power your house again. And that's it. Well, it looks like the next stop is at the generator itself. The transfer switch is hooked up. Now it's time to connect the generator. Jay, what do we got going on here with all this wiring? Well, Ed, what we got here, these are your wires that came from your transfer switch. These are your communication wires. Those are the wires that'll start your generator up, which will send power back to your transfer switch. And a power outage, you'll be good to go. Well, if you finish up, I'll get to work on the gas line. This generator can run on natural gas or propane. We have it set up for propane, but either way, Bob, what's next? Well, Ed, we're just making our final connection on the gas line here. And you always want to make sure you have a flexible connector on your gas line for movement. And after that, we'll uh, purge the line out and we'll be good to go. Once we bleed the line, we can start it up. There's propane gas to the unit and all the electrical connections are made. It's time to test it out. That sounds good. Now my home and family will be automatically protected during the next storm. To find a certified cola dealer near you, please visit colagenerators.com.